Welcome to Dart University. This is Engine Building 101. And we're going to start with the block, because that's where all the structure is. That's the backbone of your entire project. So you want to make sure you get that prepped right, so you got a nice foundation for your build. Now you can get your block two different ways. You can get it directly from Dart. You can give them your specifications for honing. They'll go ahead and hone it to your diameter of piston and the finish you want for your ring pack. Now, when you do it that way, your block is going to be complete. From top to bottom, the bird and clean, comes in a bag, it's sterile, it's literally ready to bolt on the stand and start your build. Or you can go the other route, which is pretty typical. You'll have your cylinder bores, the machine of the diameter, you know, ready for honing, and you go to your local machinist and they can do the honing for you. Now, once you've got your honing done, you want to make sure you deburr the block. Now, you can do it a couple ways. You can use a Tootsie Roll or something like this. And you want to go around to all your edges and just knock the burrs off. That's going to make sure none of those fall into the engine. They get you know, sent around and, and trash things up on a brand new fresh build. And it makes sure that you don't get a burr between critical surfaces and mess up that joint. So make sure you don't hit any of your critical surfaces like your bores, you know, your cylinders, or your deck face. You're going to mess that up. But go through everything nice and deburred, nice and clean. Now you want to go ahead and clean it after that. You can use some solvents, you can use something like Simple Green, or even soap and water, get your garden hose out, and just start blasting everything. Make sure you get all the holes. Get everything blasted out real, real good, and you can use something like this, a pretty aggressive you know, sort of brush, and you want to go through in here, you know, get all your main feeds, get in here your oil galleries, and really give it a good scrubbing. Knock out any burrs, any debris, so you got a good, good place to start blasting out with the hose when you're done, flush it out, dry it off the air hose, and when you're done with that, everything's nice and dry, get yourself a lint-free rag, a little lacquer thinner, come in here, you'll, you'll find you'll, you'll pull up a lot more dirt than you thought. Give it a little coat of oil when it's done so you don't get that rust haze in between when you've cleaned it and when you want to start building it. So, once it's all prepped, clean-wise, now you can start installing some of these little bits and pieces. All right, the kit comes with everything you need. You've got your freeze plugs. You know, use a good sort of heavy-duty sealant on here, a gasket sealant. You're going to drive these in. Make sure you've deburred everything. So you'll drive these guys in, no problems. You get your cam bearings. These are coated cam bearings from Dart. If you don't have the special tools, no big deal. Get your machine shop guy to put them in for you. Piece of cake. Last thing we've got, we're going to put our oil gallery plugs in. Use a nice thread sealant, put them around the edges, and you can come over here and start installing these guys pretty much ready to go. Now, next question a lot of guys have is blueprint. Now, the blocks from Dart are completely blueprinted. They control every step in the process from start to finish. So they've got all the dimensions recorded and they hang on to these records for a lifetime. So no matter what, you know where the block started. Somebody may have modified it along the way, but you know where it began. Everything is square, the decks are flat, perpendicular, uh, all the bores, you know, whether it's the mains or the cams, ready to go. Line board, ready for assembly. Now, you have some interactions with other parts, like crankshafts. You put a crank in there, crank bore may be a little bit off. So those things you want to blueprint. But the block is done, once it's clean, now you're ready for a good engine build.